Today we are doing Zelda Breath of the Wild's Lano Ko Shrine in the Hebrew region. What's up YouTube, I'm Kat from KK Jinx Gaming, gaming for fun, and today I'm going to show you how to complete this shrine. Watch to the end to get all of the chests. This shrine is located in an underwater cave south of the Hebrew Falls. The puzzle to this shrine is actually how to get access to it more so than inside, but fret not my friends, I have the answer. Okay, so this is Hebrew Falls. And all the way at the end of Hebrew Falls lies a cave. And that's the cave hiding the shrine. And now I know this might seem a little ridiculous, but bear with me, okay? Just hear me out. I want to go all the way back up to the beginning of the Hebrew Falls. And you can see here on my map, it goes all the way. And you can see there's also a couple Korok up here, of course, if you want to get those. But I want to be up here with all of these trees because we are going to use one that is close to the edge of the riverbank. And that's going to help us get into the shrine. I know that sounds a little bit silly, but you'll see. And you can also get in more than one way. And I'll explain everything as I'm floating down the falls. See, here's one of those Koroks. Fun, fun. Okay, so this is the tree in question. What you want to do is chop down the tree and react so quickly as to be able to stasis the log before it hits the water. I know, easier said than done, but trees spawn fast, so that's something. When you successfully stasis the tree log midair, climb aboard. Again, I know, easier said than done. And I always crouch. That helps, I think. Okay, so this is a thing that happens. I don't really know how to approve upon this skill, but I almost always fall in the water at least once in the beginning and once or twice probably in the cave. But everybody falls in once or twice once in the cave. With that said, make sure that you bring plenty of heart replenishing foods and for glob's sake, wear your snow quill armor. In all seriousness, it doesn't matter what you do or what you wear, that freezing cold water will hurt to you. So let me explain why I started way back there. At the north entrance, you can get through there but you inevitably will take damage to some degree, either from the water or from the enemies waiting for you there. And they will push you in the water any chance that they get. I recommend using ice pillars and then scaling the wall. And you'll probably fall in the water, but like I said, everybody does. But just get out as quickly as you can. And if you need to, go ahead and pause it and eat something that will replenish those hearts. Riding the log over the waterfalls is so much more fun. But that is the challenge for this shrine. All you gotta do is just make it to the shrine. And when you arrive at dry land, let's go right up to the Lano Ko Shrine Terminal and let's go right inside. And this is Lano Ko's Blessing, so just go right up to your chest and open it up to reveal a dun 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 rupee. And that's it, boys and girls. All that's left to do is talk to the monk and you're all done. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and be sure to punch that bell square in its face so you don't miss any content released. This is KK Jinx, over and out.